figure. I'm always hearing like, no, don't do that to your hair. Your hair's so beautiful. You know what I would do if you had that hair? I know you would cut it. I know you would cut it. I know you would have got a relaxer by now. I know you would have just braided it up and slapped on some wigs. Day on my hair trash I'm ready to cut my hair like I'm looking at it now and it has grown so much like don't get me wrong but my ends are hideous my ends are hideous I did a wash and go for I think I believe like a good week so when I took my photos from my photo shoot uh, a few weeks back, my hair was curly. I left it in curls the whole week. So that means I didn't really comb through my hair. I ended up putting my curls into a high puff for like a good two, three days. When I took that high puff down, <laughs> my curls felt dry. The inside, like the roots at the roots felt matted. I wanted to cry because it's like, who has, you know who has to deal with that? Me. And I'm tender headed. So I know when my hair gets tangled at the root, it's going to be hell for me. Okay. And this is what a lot of people don't understand. Yes, my hair is beautiful. Thank you. Yes, you have such nice hair. We all have nice hair. What y'all not trying to understand is y'all don't even have the patience to deal with hair like this either. It takes work, okay? That is a commitment. It's a commitment to have hair like this and, you know, maintain it the way that it is and everything. Like, it takes hard work and that's what people don't understand. Anyway, I had my little spray bottle. I had to put deep conditioner in it. I had to put conditioner in my hair before I sprayed it to loosen up the hair a bit because I had to comb it out. And boy, when I tell you, it didn't it didn't hurt as much as like combing through dry hair, but it still hurt because my hair was tangled from the root. Usually your hair is just tangled from the ends and as you go, it loosens up. No, like it was getting worse. It was easier to comb out the ends. But as I was going up, <sighs> but anyway, anyway, I made it past and now I'm just deep conditioning in it for a bit. I'm real life supposed to be in bed resting for work tomorrow, but I'm telling y'all, man, this is a commitment. This is a commitment. When you got to compromise, work with something that you passionate about. What I'm passionate about is having a good head of hair. I'm passionate about my hair, okay? My hair is my baby. But not only that, I'm passionate about looking good. So, nobody else takes care of my hair but me. So, me has to do all the work. Like, see, for instance, this, this section of hair wasn't all the way comb, like detangled because I couldn't take it no more. Like once it got to the root, I just couldn't take it anymore. So at the root, it's still, it's still pretty much tangled. But once my hair is underwater, like it'll loosen up and I could be able to pull, push the comb through. But yeah. That's how bad it is, man. And people don't understand it. It's like, I appreciate the compliments. Thank you. Because listen, I work hard. I work really hard for my hair to look good. But what y'all, this is, this is the process. This is the process. These are things that you have to do to have that gorgeous head of hair that people love so much. And this is not me bragging. It's just the truth. Like, I'm always so really quickly... I rinsed out the honey and olive oil out my hair. Um, my curls feel like a little tighter using that treatment versus like just deep conditioning my hair with some conditioner. Um, what I use to cleanse my scalp because I'm trying to keep from using shampoo, I'm trying this Camille Rose 
sweet ginger cleanser out of like a 10 i would give it an 8 for the simple fact that like i thought because it had ginger in it it would give my scalp like that tingly feeling because i oh i love that feeling on my scalp i love it so much but i guess because it's sweet ginger or it's not that heavy of ginger it doesn't um it doesn't give that feeling but overall like it does rinse out the dirt from my hair which i really do appreciate without really drying it out it is the miracle moist conditioner and it has avocado and australian jojoba oil in it so i really like this because the slip that it gives my hair when i need to detangle it in the shower amazing i'm about to show you the hair that came out while combing i really thought it would be more but it's not um it is a lot for the fact that my hair was only in curls for a week so and it's like long strands of hair so that's a bad thing like yeah the clump isn't as big as when i was having my postpartum shedding but this is still big of a clump and with long strands of hair so i don't know and it feels really dry so i know that like there's a lot of dead hair built up or was built up wish i took like a before video or before picture of how bad my hair looked earlier this morning compared to now like detangled and everything just crazy <laughs> terrible but i'm just glad that it's detangled now i think i'm about to put it in two braids i'm gonna moisturize it um after i wash my hair i always moisturize my scalp with black castor oil always i use a dropper i put it on my scalp massage my scalp for about a minute or two and then throughout my hair i'll just put oil or hair grease um something to like just keep it moisturized especially because it's colder now like it was nice a few days ago which is why it was cool to leave my hair out in curls but now like the air is really cold and it's getting really dry so i know my hair needs to be heavy, like heavily moisturized, which is why I decided to use olive oil as a part of my deep conditioning because it's such a thick oil that it'll keep my hair moisturized, right? Versus like coconut oil. This is what the curls look like. Very rich. They're very tight. So I like, I like that. Um, my ends don't feel as dry, but they're still dry nonetheless. So... I don't know, man. Sadia just might. I just might have to clip, clip that hair off. But I wanted to come on here and show you what it was looking like. Because I know people like to see results. I love to see results when I'm watching videos. So those are my results after deep conditioning with honey and olive oil. Only thing special that I did was warm up the honey just so that, you know... It gives like this runny consistency as I'm putting it in my hair versus it being really sticky and hard to put it through. Like when it's warm, it's easier to just put it in my hair, whatever. If you want, you can also uh, add your conditioner, add your deep conditioner, your hair mask or whatever you like to use when you deep condition your hair. You can add that into the mixture and then just put it in your head and let it sit. I let it sit in my hair for 30 minutes. Only because um, I remember one time I read somewhere that leaving honey in your hair for too long is bad. Like it kind of dries out your hair if you leave it in too long. So I just did 30 minutes. So I would recommend 15 to 30 minutes depending on your hair texture or like what works for your hair. Hey, 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 hey. Um, guess who finally finna do something to this hair, y'all? I've been looking like do do for the past two weeks i've been really down lately to be honest and i just feel like when i look good i feel good so i'm going to do that make myself look good do what i can nothing too fancy but i just wanted to get on here real quick and show you how smooth my hair looks after blow drying it um i've really been hesitant to cut it because you can see how like soft it is here and then down here it gets really frizzy and like scraggedy and nasty 
Yeah, I think I might cut my hair. Previous video, you saw that I use Lulu's Holistic for my face. I also use it for my hair. So when I blow dry my hair or even after uh, washing my hair and stuff, they're Vital Hair Oil and it has grapeseed and sweet almond oil. So after I wash my hair, and I um, oil my scalp. I only I use castor oil to oil my scalp, and I use this to like oil the rest of my hair, and it just leaves it so smooth. And I realized that um, when I want to blow dry my hair as well, this is my go-to. Like I literally just been using heat protectant. Oh, that's nasty. His hair. I just been using heat protectant. This is my heat protectant from Aussie, the Total Miracle, with um apricot and macadamia oil and then i use my vital hair oil from lulu's holistics this is all i've been using and look how smooth and soft get your hands on this they also have a scalp treatment i'm thinking about using because i'm i want to try something else for my scalp i mean castor oil works right but i always want to try like other oils and stuff so they have the scalp treatment i'm thinking about um trying out if i do try it out you'll see it in my video if not you can still try it for yourself just by clicking the link in the description box for this website and then using my code to get some dollars off on your purchase so hey get into it i blow dried it and now i'm going to like flat iron it um here's my flat iron it's from remington nothing too crazy and it goes up to 410 but I got it on the setting of 350 right now. I don't know if you can see. It's on 350 right now because I'm not trying to like make it bone straight. I just want it straight enough because I'm gonna do a ponytail. I'm gonna do a ponytail because I'm going out this weekend. I also might have another photo shoot, but I'm gonna let my cousin do my hair instead. So I will record that as well. But yeah, so. This part of the hair vlog, man. This is why I'm doing hair vlogs along alongside my monthly vlogs because I just be doing so much to my hair or I just want to take y'all along my hair journey with me because this is crazy. It's part of my life, you know? Like, my hair is my baby too. This is my life.
very very much so much i think i look so pretty thank you <laughs>
in the next hair vlog or in the next video. I could be in the video coming right after this one. So thank you. Thank you so much. And I'll see you soon. Peace out.